Hollywood, live from Charlotte, Sunday on Fox. And it's back, Fox 5 at the drive-in. Gina the Latina here with us. And we're talking about the movie that every woman in San Diego is talking about, Sex and the City 2. Do you feel it in the air right now? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I went to the screening and girls were dressed up to the nine. This is just the kind of movie where you get your girls, you dress up, you go to dinner, and you watch the film and you have a great girls' night out. And I feel like that's the vibe in San Diego, how it's been for like the last it, week. It's a good excuse to go get a new pair of stilettos. Oh, that's yeah, for sure, for sure, for <laughs> sure. For sure. Well, um, you know, we've seen the first one. Uh, everyone watches the HBO series. At least every every woman must watch the oh, yes. HBO series. So what's the second one all about? You know, uh, the girls take a trip to Abu Dhabi. And in the first one, they took a trip. To uh, everyone watches the HBO series. At least every every woman must watch the oh, HBO yes. series. So what's the second one all about? You know, uh, the girls take a trip to Abu Dhabi. And in the first one, they took a trip, too. So, you know, they, they cover everything, all the normal Sex and the City stuff. Love, relationships, kids, marriages, aging, not aging, fashion, clothes, all that stuff. So everything's covered. Your classic sex, sex and the City um, material is there. All right, let's take a look. One week in Abu Dhabi, all expenses pay. I've always been fascinated by the Middle East. You know, desert moons, Scheherazade, magic carpets. Like Jasmine and Aladdin? Yes, sweetie, just like Jasmine, but with cocktails. When are you going to go? I don't know. When can you all be free? You didn't think I was going without my gals. Let me just check my work schedule. Yeah? All clear. Well, I got to check with the old ball and chain, but uh, I'm good to go. Middle East three. Charlotte, how's three weeks from now? So a big buzz about this movie that I'm hearing so far is, is there's all these guest stars uh -huh. in Lina. They are. They're Liza Minnelli, awesome job. I'm not going to blow it. I'm not going to, you know, ruin <laughs> it. But, I mean, that's by far my best scene. Liza Minnelli's in there, Miley Cyrus, Penelope Cruz, and, of course, all the classic Sex and the City characters are back. You know, Sarah Jessica Parker, um, Kristen Davis plays Charlotte. You know, all of them, Miranda, everybody is back. And they are true to their Sex and the City characters. Nothing's changed. Perfect. Because we that's the way we no, like to no, see that's it. What we, like. we don't want anything different. Of course. <laughs> All right, let's watch him again. And there in the middle of old Abu Dhabi was an old love, Aiden. This is the best mirage that I've ever had. Abu Dhabi? What? You? Why? I'm here with the girls. And you? What? <laughs> I'm on the uh, third leg of a buy-in trip. Come here again. <laughs> Holy moly. Kind of a little fantasy land, you yeah. know? Yeah, and of course, Aiden's back, which is the big talk. And of course, Mr. Big and all the guys are back, too, to go along with the characters. Now, I did like the movie. There's a couple things I didn't like about it. It was a little long. I'm going to be honest. It got a little slow towards the middle. I personally would wish that they kind of kept it more in New York City. But, you know, and I think this, the music, they could have done a little better job with the soundtrack, personally. Aww. But with that said, I'd go back with my girlfriends again and have a girl's night out. I liked it. It was a very good movie. Now, one question I want to ask you. The fashion, were you just wanting to go shopping afterwards? Or what did you think? You know, the fashion we see on it is kind of like fantasy fashion. Because there's a lot of things that you love, but would you really wear them? I don't know. So there were some outfits that you, yeah, I do. I definitely, I, I think I went shopping that day and bought a pair a new pair of shoes for sure. We always want to know, you know, what is Samantha wearing? She always has the most outrageous outfit. So uh -huh. does, does she uh, perform? Oh, she is Samantha, not only with her outfits, but with her outrageous antics, if you know what I mean. All right, let's yeah. take a look at some of those. <laughs> Welcome to Bird Dog Goodman. Can I help you? Yes, our friend is getting married. I never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> you and me both. Hell just froze over. What's the name? Oh, um, Blatch. Stanford Blatch. Actually, I think they're registered under both names. Her best gay friend is marrying my best gay friend. How did this even happen? I thought they hated each other. It's like musical chairs. The music stopped, and they were the last two left standing. Just when you thought everyone you knew was too old to get married, here come the gays. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's got a lot of good humor, lots yeah. of funny. We want to tell you guys the movie is rated R, right? So yeah. don't bring your kids. I know Sarah Jessica Parker brought her seven-year-old uh, son, I guess, yeah. to the premiere. So you never know. But uh, yeah. no kids, no boys, you say? I'd say no boys. I mean, unless you're, you know, girls, don't drag your husbands or boyfriends to this one. Go out with the girls. I'd say it's definitely a chick flick for sure. <laughs> All right, Tina. Tina Latina, Star 94.1. Thanks for being with us. Thank and you. That's it for the drive-in at Fox 5, Sex in the City 2. And what did you say, Raul? Eugenia. <laughs>
All right, we're taking a live look from our Fox Sports Bureau camera over towards uh, the Strand.